with tag hat guys we were there for four 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 and a half hours and it was a big hey guys it's me malika so i just got back from a very busy day i left at around 7 30 got to the first goodwill outlet store around 802 they opened at eight and there's a already no cart super busy and this black friday so everybody is going crazy goodwills are all half off um goodwill outlets were supposed to be i saw online like 75 cents a pound but my goodwill outlet did the same half off of everything half off of your whole bill so i was really happy about that because i went into it thinking it was gonna be 75 cents but it ended up being only 60 cents a pound so i got a grand total of 128 pounds now, about like seven or eight pounds were for like my mom, seven or eight pounds were for my aunt, and then like seven or eight pounds were for um, my brother. So I, I don't know, do the math, 110 or something, 100, yeah, around 110 stuff was for me. But here we go. So without further ado, let's look through my bags and see what I got. Okay, so let's just start from the top. I got this brand new with tags, Target bag, um, retailed for 45, Target marked it down for 31. I'm thinking that, I don't know, I'll be able to sell this for maybe $20, $15, I'm being conserved, trying to be conservative on these prices. I got a whole bunch of brand new belts from Target, retailed for $17, I don't know, maybe $5 a piece, um, either like on Macari or I might sell them at my parents' store. So four of those. Um, brand new, but without tags, DeWalt construction bag. Um, it came with like a tool, but obviously they never used it. I got four memory foam seat cushions. Um, I think I'm going to try to put these on Marketplace. Maybe, I don't know, $10 for all four of them. I mean, they didn't really weigh that much in 60 cents a pound. They're just really, in really nice condition, I thought. Um, I just got four of the same book, just Bible study books for me. Again, they're only 15 cents an inch, but then half off, so they're only 7.5 cents per inch. That's, it's okay. It's crazy. Okay. Oh, okay, I got one more belt. It's like a nice peach, no, blue, teal blue. So, Adidas men's extra large polo. Um, ten dollars maybe for that. Um, just some little leggings. Those are for my cousin. Scotch and soda men's slack. Um, I'm thinking like thirty dollars for these. Vineyard vines, kids. There's a little stain on the front, but I'm not exactly sure because I've never really found vineyard vines before. But I'm guessing it'll be around ten, fifteen dollars. Kids Red Under Armour, big logo. I'm guessing that this will be around $10 as well. I'm doing like plus shipping now. I'm not doing free shipping anymore. So this is like $10 plus shipping. I might list it for like a little higher than 10, but I'm gonna accept the best offer. Suki Silver Jeans, I sell these quite often actually. I find them, they're like $20 plus shipping, 16, $20. Um, Ralph Lauren, button up for button down, long sleeve shirt, orange, it's a size extra large, which is a pretty good size for men's, um, you see like $15, another Suki Silver, um, these ones were like right next to each other, so I'm pretty sure that they came from the same person, Suki, Under Armour, kids, long sleeve, $10 maybe. These ones are cool. I might try these on Depop, actually. Um, they're Laura Ashley. They're like these velvet type pants. And I saw them on eBay, and I feel like they were $20, $30. They're really long, though, so I'm like, I wonder what size they are. They're size four, um, US 10. So I feel like it's a kind of a bigger size for this style since it's like more millennial style 
or um, Generation Z style of like the oh new cool artsy. So they might be like a little too big for like the sizing category, but we'll see how they do. Tommy Bahama. It's not as good as it used to be, but still. One fourth zip. Ship padded flat rate. I don't know, 15 to bucks, 15, 20 dollars. The North Face, red long sleeve, full zip. Um, this is a women's size small. I'm guessing probably ten dollars, fifteen dollars because it it has some wear. It's that style. I don't know what this fabric is, but it's just it gets really pilly really fast. Um, these are for my mom. They're just maternity pants dress slacks this is for my family just halloween cups i mean these are like so like maybe 10 15 cents for those this i'm going to try to sell on marketplace it's just a kid's safari vest i also had some other here they are this is um melissa and doug police vest jacket I'll try Marketplace or look them up on eBay to see how much they are. I'm just saying you could probably for like the whole lot, maybe 10 bucks. Police, the exact same one. Melissa and Doug. Okay. Brand new with tags. Tribal, I didn't even look this up, but the tag, it says made in Canada. So I was like, oh, that probably is good. And then it also said like retail $64. So I'm like... Well, I don't know how much it's worth. It feels really nice. It kind of feels like a Lula roll, like that soft, buttery feeling. But I'm guessing maybe $10 plus shipping, $15 plus shipping. This is nice. I'll have to look this up. Ann Taylor. Yep, it's not loft. It's just Ann Taylor. Yellow-ish, greenish blazer. Here's a tag. I'm guessing this is going to be for like $20 or $30 plus shipping. Here's LuLaRoe, um, let's see the tag if you don't know what it looks like. I had got like four or five of these, I'm going to lock them up because LuLaRoe is basically worth nothing, but I'm like, I'm basically paying nothing, so it kind of comes out even. The North Face Kids Jacket, this came with the same kit that had the vineyard behind stuff. So this I'm guessing 10 bucks, 15 bucks. This, I don't even know what it is, so if you know, I think it's like maybe a soccer or uh, I was thinking tennis. Tennis, soccer, tennis, or golf, so I'm just, now I'm leaning towards tennis or golf. It's a, like ladies polo. I'm not sure what this logo is because it's also down here. But I just saw it laying out and I was like, oh, well, it's so cheap. And it's also older because you can tell by this Nike tag. It's an older shirt. But anyways, here, polo, women's. No idea how much that's going to sell for since I don't even know what it is really. And here I got a whole bunch of um, Minnesota. We hosted the Super Bowl. So like we have all this Super Bowl stuff coming to us now. Like the volunteers got it or people bought it. So this says $39.99 originally. I'm guessing maybe I'll be able to get $15 for it. And then... This is a crew jacket, like crew 52 volunteers. So it's for Target donated or I don't know, maybe they bought um, all the, like, the volunteers or a lot of the outside volunteers jackets and coats. So this is what it looks like, size extra large. I'm pretty sure that it can go into this next thing that I'm showing you. So. If so, I think I might sell it as a lot. Crew 52. Single 52. It's a long Minnesota. It's like really nice quality. And like these people didn't wear them that much at all. Hooded, waterproof, coat. So I was thinking I'm seeing these for like $30 on eBay. Um, just a two-pack of socks, performance socks, I don't know, five dollars, ten dollars. Never really heard of True Fit before, but they're new, so I picked them up. 
um, this is a bra for myself. This I had my grandma looked up. I called him like, hey, can you look this up? Because it's so hard. Or I just don't like taking all the time, like type everything into my phone. So I had her look up this. And there's a few other pieces with it too. There's a longer jacket and there's a medium sized jacket. But I'm like, I like this one the best. All the buttons are there. I checked. But it's a Ar Arving L. Wilson Company um, contract date June 11th, 1979 wool jacket so it's some type of military here's the label it's some type of military jacket because it has like these military type buttons and she said this is looking like they're selling for like 15 to um 50 dollars and but it was like all different types of jackets you couldn't find any like this so again i might try this on depop or maybe even go back and dab in etsy a little bit because if I can't find any comps, I'm really not sure what I'm posting that this at. I'm hoping that I'll be able to get at least $25 for it. it since it was kind of heavy, but I don't know, maybe two, three pounds. So that makes it $2. Here's the other Lula Roll shirt that I'll be pairing it with. And then I grabbed like this, I could tell just by the quality of these ties in the back. I could tell that these were a good quality. And so it's like Robert Talbot, Ben Sherman, never heard of that one. I mean, these ones I have never heard of. That one doesn't, made in Italy, Banana Republic. And then this guy donated like, he must have got like some sale of Banana Republic because he donated like six of like the exact same brand ties. So I think we're gonna lot up like all the Banana Republic and then look up the other ones and if there's some that like stand out as like, like a $15 tie, then I'll sell it separately. Otherwise, I'll just lot up all the other ties and sell them as a lot. Okay, so I'm gonna go get my other stuff. I got quite a few of these actually. They're Carter size 5T. Um, my brother might wear them or I just might put them in, all in a lot on eBay. This is, I think, Under Armour, yep. Under Armour men's white and blue striped polo. 10 bucks for that. 15. Carter's. Another button up for my brothers. Mini um, Bowden. Yeah, these are mini Bowden. Here's the tag. I've actually never. Oh no. It sounds like the elastic is. Okay, never mind. These are going in the garbage or here with them. Because the elastic, you know, when you pull it and it has that crackling sound, like old vintage swimsuits, that's why I heard in it. So I'm not even going to mess with it. It does have, like, adjustable waistband liners, but I'm not going to mess with it. Don't want to return for, I don't even know how much that would sell for. This, I've never seen this. It's, I think it's a newer style. It's LuLaRoe, and it's a long maxi dress. It's like an ocean, I think, print. Ocean and leave print. But I've never seen the maxi dress, so I don't know how much those are selling for I mean, Lula Row is going down anyways, but I'm hoping just because it's a maxi dress, I'll be able to get at least $10 for it. Um, got a palette of eyeshadow just for when you do, like, kids dress up or when I, like, do their, like, makeup for fun. I got two little Tumi bags. They're made, actually, for Delta, Tumi and Delta. But I thought that these are just nice, new one-pouch bags to put, like, your makeup in or to put um toiletries or like little jewelry so when i travel i'll use these i got two felt hangers because i was like it's so cheap and i like felt hangers brand new from target this is the mizoni when target pairs mizoni i'm not sure when they actually did it must have been kind of recently but this was 40 dollars originally they did mark it down now to 12 but I'm hoping that I'll be able to get 10, 15. I mean, it's brand new with tags. It shouldn't be too hard to get that. Oh, I don't know if you can hear my siblings. Those are my brothers. He's fine. He fakes cries a lot. Okay, another Carter's size 5T. Beauty pajamas. This I thought was cool. I was like, I've never seen a Nike leather. Yeah, this is leather belt. But look at this belt buckle, guys. It's like, this is like sick. I feel like this is golf because I feel like golf is not like that orange color for Nike for some reason. Let's see. 
how do you redeem these types of belts? I think this is you just put it in, right? And then it holds your pants up. Yeah. So there, white belt. No idea how much maybe there's something broken. I don't know, is this like how it's supposed to look, guys? I feel like something else is like just like stick out. Anyways, maybe ten dollars. Ten dollars for Mikey belt. <laughs> this is funny. I got this just to put my cat in. I was like, oh that's so funny. It's a little sully outfit. Um, when I first got there I got quite a few little athleta bras. I'm not sure if I will sell them. Yeah, I'll actually sell them because they're size extra small. If there's a bigger size, then I'd consider wearing them. So one, two, a green one, three, and then so we have maroon, green, and then black. So I'll probably sell them all together as a lot, hoping to get $20 for them. Here's a vintage bikini. So there's a top. I don't think it's any brand, just made in the USA. All this, the elastic is good on it. It seems to be a little bit of a high rise top, bottom. So I'm gonna put this on Depop as well as eBay um, for probably $15. This is just for my brother, a little junk food, Batman. Um, like when they go and play outside in the water. Here's just some bracelets. I was going to look them up or probably just keep them, but they're just so light. Snow pants, girls. Children's place. Size six. They're in very nice condition. Making at least ten dollars. Nike BSBL. Size large. They feel like really like new because normally in baseball pants get dirty really quickly and these just have like it looks like a little bit of wear there but they're in very good condition. No idea how much baseball pants sell for, but at least ten. Ten is just like the magic number for me. This is Under Armour large. I think I'll just give it to my mom. I'm not sure what it says. It says like gratty tootie tood. Oh, gratitude with, oh, gratitude with attitude. I was like, I held this up for so long in the pound store, being like, gratty, what is gratty? I'm like, dude? <laughs> okay, now I get it. Gratitude with attitude. So I'll wear, give it to my mom if she doesn't want to wear it. I'll sell it. I'll probably lot it up with something to sell it for like $15 together. Here's brand new U.S. Polo Association. There's a tag for that. Brand new tag size medium pajamas. Both the top and then like the flannel pajamas. I'm not sure how much polo association is worth anymore, but hoping to get at least 15. Um, Stella and Dot. What like are you doing? That. That was my mom. Okay, Stella and Dot. A cute little charm bracelet. It's for like a little girl princess. I think I've so I saw like the normal size one being like at least ten dollars. So I think I be, should be able to get ten dollars for the little kid one because if you give it to your daughter and it's like all cute like memorabilia thing. Children's place size seven eight joggers. And I think I got two of these, actually. Children's Play, size 7 and 8. Yep, exact same. So I can lock those up, sell them together for $10, $12. New Balance Girls Tennis Shoes, size um, 1 and a half. They're very nice. Like, look at these soles on them. They're so nice. So I think I should be able to get $15 for these. Hannah Anderson. I do not think that these are going to be a big seller because I could only find the bottoms of these. But I don't know. Maybe $8? This is a big guy. NFL Packers. Football. 
men's size extra large, I think. Yep. So it's Reebok and, oh, NFC North, it says down here. Two big pockets. Thinking to get $20 for this. This is Woolrich. Flannel. Size extra large, and I think that's an extra large, yeah, extra large women's. People on good eBay told me that like Woolrich is one of the things like on their like, like research page or like look out for these things. They said Woolrich is one of the things to look out for. So hopefully I should be able to get fifteen dollars at least for that. Fifteen, maybe twenty. Oh, here this will go with my um like play lot. It's just by Kid Adorable, but it's a little fire and rescue jacket. That'll go on marketplace or to my brothers for a little while. Under Armour golf hat, ten dollars. This I can't wait to show <laughs> my mom. This she's gonna be like, what is that for? You look like grandma. Okay, or you look like how grandma used to dress. Um, Andrew St. John. So I've never looked this up. I was just like, I grabbed this because of the print, and because of like the style. Like it's like that like. 80s like big glasses like oh we like mom jeans ski resorts but it's coming back so i'm going to try to put this on depop here's the label andrew st john size large so it's kind of a big size but like we all love that like oversized look and stuff so no idea how much that will sell for i'm thinking i'll list it for 15 dollars okay i got some brand new sunscreen up up and up that's for us though a two-piece swimsuit it's brand new the top is like this and the bottom is I think this might fold over or it goes like this I'm not sure it's a no no name just a size just a size large but I can tell it's new because it has this panty liner in it and swimsuits are like hard to find in stores right now so people just have to go online so I'm thinking that I should be able to get $15 for it I sell swimsuits all year round I mean, sometimes I even sold a Victoria's Secret swimsuit, I think like last month, so in September, and it went all the way over in somewhere in Europe, and they paid like twenty dollars for the swimsuit and like twenty dollars in shipping. I'm like, you must really need a swimsuit over there or something. Little charm type bracelet. That's for me, not selling. This is for me, brand new with tag hat, guys. Okay. <laughs> This is like, I think I'm gonna try it on because I didn't even, didn't even try it on. I don't care if I get lice in my hair. This is so cool. I was like, I've always wanted like see like those constructor workers, like the ones that hold like the stop sign. I'm like I've always wanted one of their hats and now I finally got it. Cause it's so like vibrant. Okay. I don't know, I love it. Um, These, I'm not sure what brand these are, but I feel like they're gonna be some type of good brand. Um, There's a shirt like that. I think the exact same shirt and then I could only find one pair of pants but this is what the let's see is there over here style manufacturer Macy's oh okay so there's just some like cheap Macy's I guess I can try to sell them to like a child's resale place or after my brother wears them for a little bit or put them on marketplace because they're super soft I like those American Eagle Outfitters Super Stretch. These these are just some jigging type blue jeans. Fifteen dollars. And then American Eagle Outfitters. This is a stretch, dark, burgundy type color. Fifteen dollars as well. Just a little, I thought this washcloth was cute. This is for us. Athleta. Here's the label. Swimsuit top. So again, I could, there's no bottoms, but a lot of times, especially for like more expensive workout clothes, people will buy different tops and bottoms or more tops than bottoms. So who knows, this could have never, the original owner could have never even had a, bottom to this. It smells good though.
Mm, it smells like really good. Like a little bit of chlorine, but it's like really good, like, I don't know, like, just like a clean house. It smells really good. Anyways, next up is Cannondale cycling shorts. Never sold Cannondale, never even looked it up, but I normally do pretty well with cycling gear. So, I'm guessing that these should be for, like, $15, $20. Damn, I'll show you this stuff, but just a little bit. Another little bracelet. This cute jewelry. Um, got some, like, B chapstick. And then, it's brand new, so that's why I just picked it up. And then YM Labs sunglass cleaner. It's, like, in a bag of chapstick, sunglass cleaner, sunscreen, and bug spray maybe and it was like they gave them out at people when they went to play golf and I just took out the um lens cleaner and then the chapstick because I was like oh I'll use this and it's so cheap Patagonia men's maroon color this label is kind of hard to see because it's a darker print I don't know I've never sold pulled Patagonia shirts other than like normal shirts. I don't think I've ever sold Patagonia men's. So probably $15. These I'm gonna definitely list on Depop because I saw some a lady sell suspenders, um, rainbow suspenders for like $20. So I like saw them and so in front of somebody else I was like, I'll take those. So if these sell for $20, oh you guys don't even know how much I paid yet. So if these sell for $20, they sell for one fourth on my whole entire purchase. So do the math. Or you just wait till the end till I tell you. Vans, kid socks. These are for my sister. Chico's. I feel like this is silk. There's a label. It says, oh no, it's polyester. Size three. Blazer. Chico seems to do seems to do decently so I'm just saying $20 $30 for that and then this is obviously all from one woman because it was like all in the same bin vicinity but they're Columbia size 3x PFG sportswear so this is a green long sleeve here's the label so here's a green long sleeve women's 3x I'm gonna lock these all up together I think Here's a blue long sleeve, women's 3X. Here's a pink long sleeve, women's 3X. And here's a darker blue long sleeve. Oh, wow. This has some like problem, like she went like painting or something in it. So maybe I won't lock this one up. I don't know. Maybe I'll just put this one as an auction. That's weird. Omni shield. I don't know. People like those because they can be worn just as like kind of like a coat jacket like when hiking or they can be worn as like your actual shirt. They're just very universal piece. So next I'll get another. I'll get more stuff. Okay so moving on. Fossil belt. I'm guessing this will be ten dollars. Another um, Carter's 5T. Oh my goodness, I got mixed up. Because I went to one Goodwill and one normal Goodwill. So I'm showing you all the outlet stuff first. Um, here's a TYR reversible swimsuit. I'm not sure what TYR is. But again, I said swimsuits sell good for me. This is... Um, looks like a swim team type of swimsuit too, where like you can get fast and like as like oh fashion will sit on the beach one. And swim team season is coming up here, so that will sell well. This is a boys Under Armour shirt. Mm, that smells good too. I'll give that to my brother. This is a woman's Under Armour tank. I'll lock this up with another Under Armour thing. So I'm both like fifteen. This is super, I really like this actually. It's the North Face. Yeah, I'll show you the tag. 
women's size medium. The North Face is nowhere as good as it used to be, but it's breast cancer awareness, which boosts up the value too, I feel. And winter season is upon us. If I can't sell it on eBay or I'm like, I just don't even want to try, I'll bring it to Plato's Closet and they'll buy it off of me. Never heard of this brand, had to look this up. Etro Milano, E-T-R-O, made in Italy. It's like this like super funky button up shirt, women's. I think I saw comps were around $15, $20. And it's super light, like I guess five ounces maybe? With once it's in a bag. This is so cute, I love this. Um, Janie and Jack, never heard of that brand before. It's a little one piece. I'll probably have my brother wear it one time and then sell it. It's or get um try to sell it either to Goodwill either not Goodwill. Why would I sell anything to Goodwill? You like donate to Goodwill? Or... Focus, Malika. Focus, focus, focus. I would either sell this to like um the Plato's Closet for little kids, which is totally blank down the name of it, but it's when you bring consign your little kid clothes, or I'll sell it on eBay. I only got one bra today, which is kind of surprising because normally I get multiple bras. But Victoria's Secret, um, what size is it? 34C push up mini, I think. So this should be able to sell for $15. This little kid was stacked. True Religion. I think these are like one of the ugliest things ever. Um, little Capris. So they do have this like huge hole in these that I did not even see. <laughs> I didn't even see that, so never mind. Those are garbage too. <laughs> I'm telling you guys the truth, I did not even see that. Okay, so now I'm wondering what's wrong with these. These are Miss Me, size seven, found in the exact same area, like the where people throw back clothes. Okay, I haven't found anything wrong with these, so hopefully there's nothing wrong with them. Miss me size seven. There's like a giant hole. How did I not? I like picked it up. I looked at it. I folded, and then I went through my card again and folded everything. Wow, I'm like you are dumb sometimes. Lularoe medium. Put this in the same lot. Lularoe. Put it in the same lot. A little boy shirt. Carter's five T. I'll go in my brother's. Okay, this is kind of annoying. These are Diesel, Zathan, kind of like Nathan, so Zathan actually. I think I was pulling up comps around $30 to $40. And these do have a very, very bad hem. It was very, very much wear down there. Lots of wear down there, is how I should say it. So I might have to put them as an auction, but other than that, they look pretty decent. These are called carto car cartonier. I think cartonier is how you say it. Never found these before. Had to um, quick do a little quick research on them. I don't even remember how much they're selling for, but I guess if I picked them up, they're going to be selling for around twenty dollars. A nice t mint teal color. Um, brand new with tags. Wild Fable, which is just a Target brand. Um, retailed for $20. They were marked down to 6 Nobody bought them. But they're white. I don't see any stains on them, which is a good thing. No, I don't. There, like, might be a little bit of discoloring on the back here, but I don't. I just think it's just because it's kind of a little dirty. Um, I'm guessing that if I can't sell these on eBay, I'll bring them to my parents' store and put them for, like, 5 bucks. But otherwise, I'll probably put them on eBay for $10. Just little Christmas socks. They have like, it's so cute. Look at them. They have dinosaurs carrying presents. They're only $6. They're just so cheap. We'll keep those. A little outfit. That's for my niece. Brand new with tags. Xanthra. I don't know. Exhilaration. That's how you say it. Exhilaration. Boop. Here's a tag. This is a Target brand too, but it's a romper. And it has like these like cool kind of like flowy sleeveless romper pants 
So it retails for $30, so I think I'll be able to sell it for 10 Brand new tags, Wild Fable, again. These are like super weird, high rise shorts, but they're not even like shorts, because they go, do they go down to your knees? I thought these were guys, but they're actually girls, so. Retailed for $19, so I might sell them for 10 bucks. I mean, I don't know, like, oh, $10 for a $30 thing and $10 for a $19 thing, but that's just what I'm guessing. And sometimes people don't want, like, cheaper dresses, but they'll take, take cheaper, like, jeans because, like, all jeans, not all jeans are the same, but, like, jean materials, like, closer from, like, high end to low end, as in, like, dresses. Like, you can tell, like, the Zilla ratio is, like, a very thin style, where it's, like, Lululemon or Arlene Fisher or, like, one of those other brands that's more expensive is going to be a thicker dress. So I think that's why I'm in my head thinking that they're going to differ so much. Bugatti button up um never got bugatti before i even had to look it up i'm like bugatti i feel like that's like a good thing i don't know if i heard it in the song or something but i looked it up and comps are pulling around 20 30 dollars lane bryant plus size 14 16 10 bucks maybe 15. athleta um i feel like these can be um, I must have found this, no. I feel like these could be board shorts because they have, if you look back here in the pockets, they have like where water can drain out of. So, size large. I'm guessing that these will be $15. I'm gonna get the bra squished. Okay, so I feel like we have a little bit more. These are women's boots. Soft. F S O F F T. I think I was pulling comps around twenty, thirty dollars for these. That's a good deal. These are Tony Llama. Yep, Tony Llama. Probably can't even see in there. Just cowboy boots. I mean, these are so cheap. I check, make sure. My grandpa said check all around the um, where the leather connects to like the sole and make sure there's no rips. I checked, no rips. Pulled it apart, make sure like this isn't like cracking through, and like tap on here to make sure it's not like super thin where like if he walks on it if the person who buys it walks on it it's going to like rip there's like some ripping right here in the back but it's so cheap and cowboy boots are super expensive um here's just a sweater for my grandma it's like really big so probably won't fit her but i don't know it was oh 60 cents another 5t boys pajamas and um i got so many like i just kept on grabbing them of these thinsulate 3m thermal insoles my grandpa sells shoes so i might just give them to my grandpa or also put them like in a pack and i think i've seen like three packs sell for like 13 bucks and so light so i probably got three of them for 60 cents so that's a good deal okay i got a combo back Super nice, like, I feel like it's almost new because it still has, like, this tag where they put a, um, where they put a price tag on. And this, not even sure if this has been used. I guess it does have some, looks like wear on it. Oh, yeah, the Intel's been used, so I'll have to clean that out. I'm not sure how, what the comps are pulling on this because I didn't even look it up, but I'm guessing that a combo back backpack will be around $20. I mean, it's very nice condition. People could even like pull out the water thing and use this just as a backpack. It's padded. Um, little Toms. So I, basically they look like new. Size women's five. $10. I sell Toms all day for eight to $10. Um, Ikea wall covering. So those are for my aunt. I got this case for my phone. It was like in a whole package where I'm like, well, if I'm only going to use the case itself, I'll just take it out. So five cents, maybe. Ultimate Ninja Warrior plate. Again, so um, light. I just grabbed them. Ultimate Ninja Warrior tablecloth covers. When we eat outside, we use just a plastic table cover. So I'm like, well, these are so light. We'll use them. This is a table cover. Cover. 
Ikea end that you twist it on the end of like your curtain rod. I don't know, for me, it seems like Ikea things tend to keep their value. So since these are new in package, you, I'll just type in this HG whatever brand and then they should pop up on eBay. I don't know, maybe $10 for these. Ultimate Ninja Warrior Tattoos, just cause it's like, it's all there, I just grabbed it. Hot Fudge Sunday napkins, mini forks. Okay, I love little things, so I got mini forks. These will be for a New Year's party. And Celebrate napkins. So that was all like the new stuff that I just like grabbed since it was so cheap. And I did count those Thinsulate, like shoe insoles, shoe insole things. I think I got around 25. So if I make $5 on each, boom. There's five times 25, over $100. Okay. Girls, long sleeve. This is for my sister. The North Face beanie. 10 bucks on that. Two of these, I got them in a different place. High Rise Mom Jeans, Wild Fable. Brand new with tags, size 18. These, wait, these ones don't have distressing on them, so maybe they're different. These ones retail for um, $22, so, so I'll list them for 10. Here's High Rise Mom Jeans. Oh, I guess these are the exact same. This size 18, list them for 10. Okay, I'm gonna tell you a sad story. So they're putting out like the shoe, um, shoe bag, hat bins is what like most of the items are. And I see this, this last bin that comes out. It's like a Vera Bradley bag, and I'm like, oh my goodness, like there's a Vera Bradley bag. It's like a big duffel bag. I'm like, I'm, I think I should go over and get that. But then another part of me is like, no, you want to get like all these like thinsulite things, so, like the insole covers. Cause I'm like, I bet a lot of people are gonna want like all these insole covers, and like the chance of me getting the bag or like slimmer than me getting like some of the insole covers, blah blah. So then like I let the bag go, and then like this other lady gets it. I'm like, oh my goodness, I could have totally just reached in, grabbed them, come over, cause nobody else really seemed to want the insole. Like they looked at them and then threw them aside. And I'm like. You want both of them. So I didn't get this like nice blue duffel bag Vera Bradley. I'm like, I'm sad about that. Cause I did, also didn't know if it was fake Vera Bradley. Cause some things it looks like Vera Bradley, but it's not. And I was like, oh, and I was like, Tch -tch. anyways, hopefully that lady loves her new bag. She probably is going to go sell it tomorrow, but talk to mom. I got a Vera Bradley, some pretty good condition, hanging toiletry bag. It's cute. I didn't pull comps on this, but Bear Bradley seems to do pretty well. So probably fifteen to twenty dollars. Brand new with tag, Victoria's Secret garter belt. This was thirteen ninety nine on clearance, so I'm guessing that's all for ten dollars. Two of these training bras, Iviva. If I'm even saying that right, it's the kid version of Lululemon. So I felt these. I'm like Lululemon, but no, they're little Iviva ones. So those I'm guessing I'll sell in a two pack for 15. Tommy Bahama, brand new with tags. $118 is what it says originally. Extra, extra large pole. Probably sell that. Mm, doesn't smell too good. I'll do some cleaning on that, but it's new with tags, so I can't wash it. I'm guessing that that will be around $25. Just Girls Gap jeans, my sister, Girls Wonder Nation, which is a Walmart brand, my sister. Brand new with tags, Old Navy. I seem to do good with Old Navy if it's brand new with tags. So these ones, how much did they retail for? Oh, it doesn't say. So I'm guessing that these will be $15. Quick sell. Girl, no, these are actually... Girls or boys, I'm not sure. Probably girls, skinny jeans, size four. A little bit for my cousin. Little dress for my cousin. This. I was like, I was like picking it up. I'm like, oh, I don't want to get a jacket. But I'm like, I thought the time, like, oh my goodness. I'm definitely buying this. It is Eileen Fisher. So it probably is like has holes in it. And we'll like it's ripped all over because nobody else is picking it up and 
I didn't even look at it. I was like, oh yeah, Eileen Fisher, let's get it. Oh, 100% wool, let's get it. So if you don't know Eileen Fisher, this is like a newer label, the box label. I was pulling comps in the car, or my brother actually was pulling comps for me, and it was looking like these were selling for around $100. So if I sell this, I paid for all of this. Crazy, crazy, I know guys, I know. Carter size 3T dinosaurs, button up my brothers. This is the men's Under Armour big logo, except it's solid black and it is cut here. They must have like a big head or just like not like it so tight on their neck. But I'm still thinking that since it's a bigger size, it's a extra large that I should be able to get $20. This is just a doll bed that somebody made. That's for my sister. Um, Polo Ralph Lauren shirt. I'm guessing 10, 15 bucks on that. Under Armour Women's Runs shirt. Probably bundle it with that, with something else. But it's size extra large. If I can't bundle it, I'm guessing I'll be able to get $10 for it. two of my brother's things a haha -ha mustache game and a chinese fortune sticks wow it tells me your fortune if you take the red side you will be happiest when helping others so hopefully this video is helping you so then i'm happy okay so comment below say this helped me or this showed me some new brands or this showed me what the goodwill outlet was like okay this is your Your natural wit will be your fortune. Wow. Good fortune there. And then a mustache game. Both my brothers. Okay, I picked up... It must have been like a swimmer that donated all their swimsuits. Didn't even look at them. Didn't even check their elastic. Um, PBT style, made in Mexico. Swimsuit. I'm probably going to lot all these up unless some of these are like amazing brands I've never heard of. Green swimsuit, open back. Blue swimsuit, open back, speedo, endurance. Blue yellow swimsuit, open back, speedo. Orange suit, swimsuit, don't know what brand that is. And then two of these exact same ones, um, speedo, endurance, speedo, endurance. So if I lock those up, um, I probably won't put them all in the same lot because who really needs 10 swimsuits? But if I lock them up, I think that I should be get ten dollars a piece at least for them. Oh, and then one more pink. Oh, they're dolphin. I think these ones I didn't know what brand they are. They're dolphin. And I just grabbed this bag to to put my stuff in. It's just sitting out, and I think I'll actually use this bag. Oh, a Ninjago the movie. Walmart, Target, garbage toy. So I got. A nice free bag out of this deal, so that's good. Oh, and then an LOL surprise baby I found in there too. That was fun. Okay, now that we went through all the Goodwill outlet stuff, I'm gonna show you, and all this was a whopping oh, $86. Plus, I didn't show you two pairs of Sora boots, um, two jackets, eight pounds of baby clothing, two mason jars, um, a uh, Under Armour bag, Skylanders, other toys that are all the people who are like, hey, you want this? Or they're like, hey, can I get this? Or hey, keep an eye out for this. I bought all that stuff for them. So this is just all the stuff that I'm selling. And then down there's the stuff that we're keeping. But all this, only $86, guys. That's like crazy. If I sell this one jacket, it pays for it. If when somebody bought this bag, they probably paid $50, $60. Like the same price. When somebody bought this, they probably paid $50, $60. All these swimsuits probably will sell for $80. It's like, guys, this is like mind blowing. This is such a good deal. But, anyways, moving on to the normal goodwill that seems so expensive now. Prana. Six bucks, guys. This is $6. 
Arcterax. Arcterax, I think. I don't know how you say this. It's like an expensive hygiene brand. I don't know. I kind of line it up with like Lululemon. But it does have a hole right there in the back of the sleeve. So I might see how much it is on auction. But it was $3. Tommy Hilfiger vintage. Well, like 2000 vintage. 1990 2000 women's dress. That was two fifty. Another Prana shirt for six dollars. I don't think I showed you the other Prana label. Prana seems to do very well for me. These are my sisters, two dollars. Um, Ariat, like slip-on boots. I was pulling comps of these. I think around thirty dollars. You can't see Ariat there, but here's Ariat. They were only five dollars. Drew Brees, NFL official, on-field jersey. So right here, I got it for $12.50. Big size, it's a Nike, so it should be, I think I was pulling comps for that around $30. I don't know. This is Ron John Sershaw. I think it's like a drug rug, but I looked it up, couldn't find it. I was like, you may probably like take out the word drug or something. But it's like these big... I don't even know what it's called. A big sweater, jacket, scratchy, burlap. But this is like why I bought it for like this on the back. And it was a size extra, extra large, so I'm like bigger size. And it's like Ranch on Surf Shop. People like that. Like it's like the like sporty visco girl thing to do. Four dollars and fifty cents. I'm hoping to get thirty, thirty dollars. Hopefully that's not being too greedy. Missed me. Blue teal jeans. These were five dollars, but I like looked at like recently sold them just like three days ago. The only one sold for like thirty five dollars plus shipping. And another Prana is the same person. And then Alfred Dunner size eight. I might wear this once or twice. Like this vintage pink skirt. And then I'll try to list it on Depop and maybe Etsy. And then I got. Just some Corel bowls for 50 cents each for my mom. And then some Christmas cups for my grandma for 50 cents each. And that total, and then there's one toy that my brother got for a dollar. And that total was $60, I think. But, I mean, the cups are like $6 the bowl, and then all my mom's stuff is like $10. So I probably spent only like $40 actually for myself or to resell. So all in all, to resell, I probably spent around um, $70 because of everybody, everything else that everybody else is buying for me. But guys, this is like crazy. I know people are probably like, wow, that's so gross. You're leaning against girls' clothes. But I've been in the girls' place all day, so I really don't care right now. I'm just so tired. Hopefully, you guys like my haul. Hopefully, you like all the stuff that I got. If you have any questions about reselling on eBay, if you have any questions about my life, if you have any questions... Well, not about my life. Shit, scratch that. If you have a question about reselling eBay, college, being a part of a big family, buying stuff for other people, life, faith, whatever, hit me up in the comment section. Hit me up on my email. I also have Instagram. I don't want to use it that much. Probably should use it more. But anyways, hope you guys like this. Please leave a comment down below if it helped you so I can know if you guys like these haul videos or not. If you want me to like shorten them or like just do it. <sighs> like quick microwave version or if you may do like slow like slow cooker version like going to like every detail of every item but anyways thank you so much for watching if you made it this far i know you must have liked me somehow or you just left youtube on autoplay so if that's you shut off it your screen time is going up because of this hopefully you had the best black friday shopping did you go black friday shopping because if you didn't you should have you should have not to normal stores but to thrift stores that are all half off have a good day See you later, Malika here.